Hey everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create a trippy typography animation in After Effects. Open After Effects. Go to the project panel. Create a new composition. Change the comp name to the main render. Preset custom. Width 1080, height 1080. Set duration time to 10 seconds. And click OK. In this video, we're going to work with this folder called Tutorial. And I will give you the project file, a free download link only on my Patreon page. And make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. First, let's start creating a background. I have downloaded this grunge wall background in freepick.com. Press enter to rename the background. Press S and reduce the scale amount to 43. Now go to the effect and press sets and type curves. Drag and drop on the layer. Adjust the curves to something like this. Now let's start creating a text animation. Type any text you like. I am using Givonic Extra Bold font. You can download it anywhere from the website and make sure to align the text. Now select the text and right click to create shapes from the text. Now we need to split the text into two. To do that, press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Now select both layers, open the layers and contents and delete the M and E letters. You have to do the same process, but this time, I will keep the M and E letters and delete the G and A letters. Make sure to rename the layers. Again, select the layers and change the label color to yellow. And again, select the top layer. Go to the menu and select Pan Behind Tool to change the anchor point. Make sure to enable the snapping. Now you can change the anchor point to something like this. Again, select both layers. Press P to open position. Right-click on the position to separate dimensions. Now, select both layers. Create a keyframe on the X position. Go forward one second. Again, create a keyframe. Now, at the first frame, change the X position value to something like this. Select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Now hold Alt and move the keyframes to 20 frames or 15 frames. I think I need to add more motion blur for the text animation to do that. Go to the effects and presets. Search for the effect called CC Force Motion Blur. Drag and drop on both layers and change the motion blur samples to 100. Again, create a keyframe on the Y position. Press Shift R to open rotation and create a keyframe on rotation property. Now go at one second, 15 frames. Again, create a keyframe on Y position and rotation. Now, come at one second. Again, create a keyframe. Now, at the middle keyframes, change the Y position to something like this. And again, at the middle keyframes, change the rotation to negative 60 degrees. And at the top layer, change the rotation value to 60 degrees. Select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Hit the spacebar button to preview. Perfect. And make sure to add markers at the end keyframes. And change the marker name to hit. Now unhide the main text layer and hide the top two text layers. Select the text layer and change the fill to stroke. Set the stroke amount to three pixels. Now unhide the top two text layers. Move the main text layer at the marker. Now move the text position to something like this. 
and make sure to select the main text layer. Go to the menu, select the rectangle shape tool, and draw the mask to something like this. Select the bottom mask path and adjust the position. Press F to open mask feathers. Set feather amount to 25 or 30 pixels. And again, press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the text layer and adjust the position with the help of arrow keys. Now again, select both main text layers, duplicate the layers, bring them up, and the position to something like this. Press M to open the mask path. Now select the fourth main text layer, adjust the mask path to something like this. Do the same process to the third main text layer. Now select all four main text layers. Press P to open the position property. Create a keyframe. Go forward 2 seconds and 15 frames. Create a keyframe. And again go forward 3 seconds 15 frames. Create a keyframe. Now go to the first keyframe. Change the Y position value to something like this. Now you can copy the first keyframes and paste them through the end keyframes. Select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Make sure to change the graph value also. Now select the fourth text layer. Go to the effects and presets and search for the effect called Echo. Drag and drop on the text layer. Create a keyframe on a number of echoes. Set the number of echoes to zero. Go forward a few frames. Set the number of echoes to five. And again, move forward a few frames. Set the number of echoes to zero. Press F9 to easy ease and change the graph value. Copy the echo effect and paste it through the other text layers. Now finally, you can change any fill color and glow effect to all text layers. Hit the spacebar button to preview the entire project. I hope you all enjoyed watching my After Effects tutorial. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next amazing tutorial. Stay tuned. Thank you.